was just cured. MC Square. MC Square. MC Square. MC Square. Dr. Joseph Tracy, uh, I with my colleague Michael Sperling, Dr. Michael Sperling and Dr. Uh, Noman Ahmed uh, tested the MC Square device for its effect on verbal learning, memory and attention and I will uh, explain uh, briefly uh, the study that we conducted. Uh, the purpose was to uh, determine uh, if the device um, affected uh, cognitive skills and we focused on attention, learning and memory, particularly verbal uh, forms of those uh, domains. Uh, we were specifically interested if uh, training and practice with the device uh, would improve uh, performance on those types of measures. Uh, you may know that the device is an eyeglass-like device that uses light and sound uh, to, it's proposed that it entrains the brain neural activity and induces relaxation. Thomas Jefferson University is the second oldest medical college in the United States. Uh, we have a large and uh, well-respected and well-renowned neurology department. In particular, we have a neuropsychology section uh, that is uh, part of neurology and engages in cutting-edge research. So far, uh, look very promising. There are clear beneficial effects with the MC Square device on learning. You know, the possibilities of this device are just amazing. I'm a meditation teacher and I teach people meditation as a way to manage stress. It's very powerful and it works for many, many people. But lots of people don't have the time or the inclination to learn meditation. And everybody believes that there must be ways to provide some of the benefits of meditation without having to go through all of the effort, all of the learning, and all of the time. So the MC Squared device is one attempt, and I think a, a successful attempt, to provide this kind of benefit without the investment of time and money that it takes to learn and practice meditation. And one of the things that was very important to differentiate any product in this field was that it had validated test results that demonstrated its effectiveness for the consumer. It's one of the premier colleges in the field of neurology and their test results which showed a statistical improvement by using the MC Square device. Well when I first heard about it I was a little skeptical. Uh, I thought how could any device that you use for 15 to 30 minutes a day make a person remember more than what they really can. And uh, I was very skeptical. But after using the device for a week or so, it seemed like I was able to concentrate on the questions and focus on the questions um, more intensely. And I was able to answer the questions more routinely. And I think I had better results. Definitely. I think that, uh, that students could benefit from using this, um, high school students and up. Um, in my college curriculum, I've been going to school for over seven years now. And had I had this at the beginning, I'm not sure what path I'd be going down now. Because this definitely does help to concentrate, uh, helps the student to concentrate and to, to do better on their everyday, in their everyday lives with work and schoolwork and managing time and, 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 and everything that has to do with the academic world. On a Live at Five Health Watch, improving your attention and concentration could just be a flip of the switch away. NBC 10 News medical reporter Sherry Bank joins us with news of some high-tech help. Sherry? Well, Vince, they claim it uses neurotechnology to enhance your concentration and attention, but say it also helps relieve tension and stress. And this is the device, I don't know if you can tell that it's blinking, you really have to see it to believe it. It's supposed to look and sound like stress relief. But 
this little device that resembles an iPod or any other MP3 player is called MC Square, and it does much more than relax us. Its makers claim it helps with the tension, exhaustion, tension, and concentration. They're so sure of the MC Square, they ask researchers at Thomas Jefferson University Hospital to test it. And there was a change on a measure that reflects attention and concentration. Dr. Joseph Tracy says folks in the scientific study he conducted had a modest improvement in attention and concentration. Uh, individuals were improving by about a digit. In other words, if you're recalling a phone number, they were able to recite back more than numbers. Exhausted graduate students were part of the study. I couldn't notice any effect on memory or concentration uh, specifically, but I did find it relaxing to use and it was enjoyable. My memory had improved a little bit. Uh, my concentration, how I zoned in on the questions and things of that nature had changed as well. Put on the blinking light glasses and then select a program depending upon what you want the player to do. There are settings for mind control and deep sleep as well as concentration and relaxation. Listen the recommended number of times and you may be blessed with bliss. Doctors aren't sure how it works but think it simulates meditation, creating a sound and light environment to relax. It would be the last thing I'd do before I go to bed and you know it would kind of put you in that mood to go to sleep because it was very relaxing. Researchers say their study only found an improvement for attention and concentration. No changes observed in memory and learning skills. But the Korean company that owns the device is planning more studies here in Philly and hopes to have it on the market in the U.S. soon. They say it's already all the rage in Asia. Expect to pay about $300. <laughs>